Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome to week three of Ear Training 3, where we make the chromatic automatic. Yeah, that'll be fine. Now, um, for our warm-up today, I want you to stop the video and just sing up and down a scale. So do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, etc., right? So go up and down the scale. And then what I want you to uh, do is then come back to this and um, add this to your scale warm-ups. Because what we're going to do is take the scale and group it into threes. So we're going to go um, do, re, mi, fa, so, Ti la, ti la, so fa. So every third degree, we're going to emphasize and make a group out of. So it's like we're singing the scale in, you know, triple meter or something like that. All right. So one, two, three. Here we go. Do re mi fa so la. Ti do ti la so fa. Mi re do re mi fa so. And that's where we'll end, where we get the downbeat back on the low, on the low do. Um, do that a couple of times because, like, those solfege can be kind of tongue twisty. So do that a few times. All right, now we're going to do that so that I'm just playing the chords um, underneath, underneath it, and I'll. Um, mouth the scale degrees along, but I want you to sing the whole scale. So I want you to go do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, etc., etc. But I'm only going to be supporting you on every third one, and I'll mouth the scale degrees in case you need some some um, emotional support here. All right, so one, two, three, ready, set, go, do, fa, so, What's that? They should do it a couple of times to get very comfortable with that? That sounds like a great idea. You should do it a couple of times to get comfortable with that. Now, when we sing it, I want you to leave out everything that's not the strong beats. So now what you're going to sing is Do, Fa, Ti, La, me. Right? Okay, so let's try that. Um, I'll sing along with you, and I'm only going to play on and sing, which you will, will be too, on the strong beats. All right? One, two, three, ready, set, go. Fa, ti, la, mi, re, so, do, so. Re, mi, la, ti, fa, do. Oh, what's that? They should also do that a couple of times to get comfortable with it? You know, that also sounds like a great idea. Do that a few times to get comfortable with it. Good. All right, now what I want you to do is do that on your own without accompaniment. So what that's going to encourage in your inner ear is for you to hear the solfege that you're not seeing. So you'll say out loud, do, but then but then what you have to do is hear in your head, re, mi, and then come out and say, fa, and then hear in your head, so, la, and then come out in your head it, with your voice, t, right? And so this is going to, so this, this exercise makes you, um, oralize and not sing um, the two alternate scale degrees. So at this point, stop the video. So a really good tip for um, for doing unaccompanied activities like this is that you should like get your instrument and put it in your hands. So if you're a violin, a violinist, you should like imagine your violin in your hand, like actually have 
is this mental image of the violin in your hands while you're doing it. If you're, uh, you know, a clarinet, just get your clarinet in your hands. There's a lot of research that shows that if you're trying to imagine what it's like to hear a pitch, if you're a consummate instrumentalist, it's way easier for you to hear that pitch in your head if you're imagining playing that. So like when I'm trying to imagine what's going on, I'm feeling it under my like piano organist fingers. Um, and it, and and so if you are a violist, you should hear hear slash feel it in your like viola fingers. When you're doing this unaccompanied kind of weird triplet activity, I want you to imagine playing this triplet scale on your like air viola or your air saxophone, because I guess air saxophones are like this. It is legitimately going to help you. Like I said, there's a lot of research that points to this helping. Um, and I want you to be able to activate that if at all possible. Okay, so sing that triple major scale, but don't sing anything except the downbeats. Um, if you need to help yourself out, go get your melodica or your keyboard and try to like play along a little bit. But challenge yourself to just auralize those those internal scale degrees and then sing out loud and in tune those um, those other the scale degrees on the downbeats. Oh, Jen, let's change the lighting to be a little warmer. How about this? Oh, that's nice and warm. Oh, that's 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 less warm. There we go. That's nice and warm. Let's take it down a notch. Ah, there we go. There we go. Good job, Jen. Thank you. All right. So this is all based on um, chapter fifty-four from the Karpinski manual. Um, it's on my pages on two sixty-three, uh, and. I want to encourage you to go through the exercises starting on 265. So on 265, you've got this exercise here, where what you've got is a scale degree, um, a chromatic scale degree, which is like um, anchored, branched from some other scale degree. So like here's D and it's, it's anchored to Ray. And so what you do is you like jump through all the other scale degrees and then continue to anchor it to Ray and then jump down to D. So it'd be something like, you know, you start with Do, Ray, and then you jump down to D. But you keep going to other scale degrees. So like you'll go to So over here in this measure and you'll jump down to Ray. And you'll get the chromatic scale degree, which is like branched towards Ray. And then what happens down on the second line is that instead of having the anchoring scale degree first, you jump directly into the chromatic scale degree. So you'll, instead of having so, re, D, re, you jump right into D. So, D, re, and then you do the same thing with other chromatic scale degrees. So you'll um, first start here, if you're jumping from so, you would jump into, if you're jumping from so to re, first you would have an exercise where you go so, me, re, me, but then you go the, on the next iteration, jump writing into re, so, re, me, right? And that, um, and you do that with all of these other chromatic scale degrees. So I'd strongly recommend going through the exercises on page 265 to 266. So you should do those exercises first before you do what we're about to do. Because what we're about to do is a improvisation exercise that is going to incorporate jumping to chromatic scale degrees and then resolving them to the proper diatonic degree. The way that this works is that there's going to be a period of silence in the video where you should just improvise in a key and then a screen is going to come up. A screen like this. That screen is going to tell you what chromatic scale degree you should jump to. So what you just saw was a, was a placard that said um, D Ray. So if you're like improvising in this key where this is Joe and you're like, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, mi, re, do, ti, do, re, mi, fa, so. And then that placard came up. You would sing, D, re, wherever you are in the scale. So like if you're on so, you would stop what you're doing and you'd sing D, re. So this is going to um, 
uh, challenge you to go from wherever you are improvising in the scale and jump to these chromatic scale degrees. So like if, you know, if te la pops up, then you would drop whatever you're doing and sing te la. So if you were going, if you were, if you were singing like do re mi fa mi, do, sorry, do re mi fa mi re mi re do ti la so 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 do, and then like up popped, you'd sing te la. Now crucially, after each of these, each of these placards comes up, there's a little bit of a of a sound clip that will help you check it. That it, as in it 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 has the chromatic audio in it. <laughs> I think the first time that you do this, you should keep the audio on so that it checks you. And then the next time through, you should turn the audio off so that you challenge yourself to sing these without any kind of like help from the from the audio. A fun video exercise. So so here's an example of how that would go. Here's the key. And I would go. Do re so at the beginning I would start improvising do re mi fa mi re mi re do mi so la so fa mi and then a placard would pop up wherever I was I would sing fi so you don't have to do the hands and then you go back to improvising again so fa mi re mi re do re mi fa mi re do and then another placard would pop up you'd sing D re and then you start improvising again. Right, right, whatever. Doug, how's my sound? Doug, do I do I do I sound too? I sound too loud. Do I do I sound muffled? Do, do, Doug, how's my? Doug is my sound guy. Doug is fictitious. Okay, so here's your key. So improvise when the improvised screen comes up, and then jump to the chromatic degrees when those screens come up. Doug, how was the sound on that? 